to do in Australia. It is truly impossible. We do not have nits. We do not have elf. Yes, we have Maybelline, Rimmel, Revlon, Covergirl, but okay, I have the same matte foundation. This is $15 in Australia. This retails for five in America. So what I'm going to be doing is going by the prices in America and then subtotaling probably over here somewhere. Okay, so as I said, this is Tony Bell Makeup Challenge, and this is what I did these however much money I spent in um, American dollars. Okay, so I said the first thing I have is my Stay Matte Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation, and I am in the color 200 Soft Beige. I think so. Um, so I'm just gonna apply this all over. Not have money for brushes at all, and do not actually have any cheap brushes at all. Yes, this yeah. means you're sorry. You're standing at my door. Yes, this means you take. Since, as I said, I didn't have money to get brushes, I'm just going to be having to use this little spatula thing. So I'm going to go in with the middle colour and apply this all over my lid. rest of my face with this colour but just with my finger and just lightly on top of my cheekbones and really blend it out just to just slight shimmer across 
across the bridge of my nose. And on my jawline. Make it look both cross. Okay. And I finished with this set. I'm going to move on to my lashes. Oh, this is $4, $6, $6 in Australia. Don't think you can get it in America, but I'm just going to include the Australian price, which is $6. Okay, so so far we have 4 and $6. Anyone in America is watching this and I have got my calculations of prices wrong, please feel free to um, correct me down below. So next I'm using my Maybelline Great Lash, Lots of Lashes Mascara, which is the, probably all heard about this one in the code. If you haven't, go back and look at my latest haul, because this is in there. Just going to apply this to my upper. And my And then I'm just going to wash my brush. Since I only had $20, I didn't have any money to get anything for my eyebrows. So I'm just going to brush through it with my mascara wand. Just to make sure that they're brushed at least. And then I'm gonna wash this again before putting it back in my mascara. Being with you. And I'm just gonna fix up the fact that I have dots from this mascara. Hmm. Okay, now on to cheeks. Um, didn't have particularly much money left. You guys can see total adding up. Oh, by the way, this is $5. Um, I only had $5 left to find a lip and blush product. And this is without eyebrows, eyeliner, and everything else. So lip and blush were my most important at the moment. So I compromised and got a $5 lipstick from Maybelline in color 720 pearly pink. Very sheer pink color. Let's hope it looks okay on my lips. I saw dysfunctional. I really shouldn't miss you, but I can't let you go. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna apply it to my cheeks. created with $20 of makeup like exactly okay so I'm gonna go through quickly and review the products that I used um, and kind of go in depth with the way I use them okay, I'm gonna start with the products I used last because this is currently my least favorite this color 720 pearly pink by Maybelline Completely washes me out on the lip. I honestly think it is a better blush colour than it is a lip colour. And there's like nothing on my cheeks at the moment. So, not a fan of this colour. If I'd gone like a deeper, darker colour, maybe it would have been better, but this was just the one they had that was actually $5 in Australia. Okay, and then I'll go in reverse order. So, next is the Maybelline Great Lash, lots of lashes. This is a really wet mascara, and I mean really wet. It got dots all up the top of my eyes, and... but I have used this before, and with a curling wand, which I did not have money to buy, time, and if you guys have seen my Miraness Laboratories Fast Fix Solutions Instant Lash Transplant Volumizing Review, 
my A ends up to um, this word, false lashes, which I made just before this video. I have mentioned the tool number three in there, which is a lash comb and a lash brush. With this tool, this um, mascara works really well. It is a really good mascara. It does do well for my lashes, but it's just really wet and I think I applied it way too quickly and need to brush through it. Okay. Next is the Australis Intensify Wet Dry Eyeshadows. These have a really strange consistency. This, this white one is like powder. Okay? Like normal eyeshadow. Okay? It's just this one here. This middle one is kind of like creamy. And you put it on and it's a powder. My hand is like all glittery. So that's the next one. And then this the third one is the same thing. It's creamy and then it's powdery. I think that's what it means by wet dry eyeshadows. So yeah, it's the darker color actually I got from lipstick and shows a bit better on the lipstick. <sighs> Overall, it's not too bad an uh, eyeshadow trio, but yeah, it's kind of confusing. If I had more time to play with it, I probably would have and use other colours with it. I probably wouldn't use this exact set because it's all shimmery. I prefer matte and shimmer. So, yes. And finally, the Revlon Stay Matte Foundation in Soft Beige. I actually bought this foundation on my own. Sorry, I keep looking up in the mirror because it looks kind of a bit awkward with my cheeks. Kind of like defined by pink line. Um, I actually have this foundation. I bought this foundation a while ago for me and I do use it sometimes it's not my favorite I prefer my NP set um, memory foundation but for, some, for like on the go it's all right I do prefer to set up with the stay matte powder and translucent just to I don't know the feel it gives my skin isn't as good without the um, powder over the top but yes, I do actually think this is a pretty decent drugstore foundation. Okay, so that was my $20 makeup challenge look. It's not really the most attractive, but hey, it works. Um, I want to know if you guys could do this challenge. Please leave the video response below. Um, please comment on this video as well of what you guys... Um, think of the products I used and how this look looks and if you can find products near you that it would add up to under $20 write that down as well and please subscribe to my channel that would be really awesome with you guys and I'll see you guys later okay bye, -bye.